Other headlines involve gay teenagers who have taken their own lives after enduring malicious pranks, cruel words, and physical threats or abuse. Fox News Rupert Raj talks to some local high school students about life as a gay teenager. Joe Tillman knows the importance of prevention when it comes to the bullying of gays and lesbians. In my career, three kids that committed suicide, two of them were uh, gay boys that committed suicide, left suicide notes. They just couldn't take it anymore. His children are straight. He is too, but he's a retired social worker in the Detroit public school system. Those three deaths he spoke of helped shape a mission to stop the bullying, the taunting of gay kids, not just in school, but online. He's a member of parents, families, and friends of lesbians and gays, or PFLAG. Their mission, to help young men like this. I left half of my family in Arizona because they didn't accept it. His mother did accept it, so he moved back to Michigan. Brandon Likens feels at home again. He's openly gay and has joined the Gay Straight Alliance here at Royal Oak High School. Gay bullying is real and painful. People, you know, they would just call you gay or they'd call you fag, other things that just were hurtful. For me, it's like the equivalence of murder. It's like you, you are pushing that person so far that they take their life, it's no different than pushing them off a cliff. An edge that many gay kids get too close to. Their student group now with 11 members hoping to keep people off that dangerous cliff, keeping them grounded with strength from one another. For the bullies out there, what do you tell them? Just leave the kids alone. They, I mean, it's not a choice, you know, I mean, I wouldn't say that I would change myself because I wouldn't, I mean, not, I wouldn't change myself for anyone, but I mean, it's not something that I, this isn't what I chose. You just gotta believe that it'll get better because if you don't try to solve anything, those people automatically win. And it is very much a race. For some, the ticking bomb is here online. Has the internet made it worse, the bullying? I would say in some concepts, yeah. Worse, even on the very Facebook page that was meant to serve as a support group for gay students. And there were people that joined it just to harass people. And, you know, they got kicked off, but for a few days there, you know, they just would go on there and say extremely rude and mean things. Mean things that for some add up to more than online harassment. Kids don't know what to do. And some of them, unfortunately, don't know where to turn and they end their lives. So to end the torment, the torture, Tillman insists it's not school administrations, not legislators with anti-bullying laws, but students themselves who are at the root of the solution. The more you get kids to understand how it makes somebody feel, the more likely they're gonna stop. But I can't tell it, Roop, you can't tell them. You know where it has to come from? It has to come from other kids. In Royal Oak, Roop Raj, Fox 2 News. And joining us right now to discuss the issue of gay bullying are Kim Phillips.